I've always admired Chief John Odige Oyegun. And I must say, uh, for two reasons. The first reason is that somehow, he has always been his own man, charting his own course, sometimes making some real trouble. For example, when as a permanent secretary, he risked contempt proceedings when he refused to testify on principle. As a young man, I watched with bated breath, wondering when they were going to carry him to jail. But he ended up uh, on the right side. But almost always, as I, 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 you always find him on the right side of history. As a founding member of the AD, member of NADECO, and later as secretary of those abroad, founding member of the APC, and the first chairman, and one who led our party to that historic victory to unseat the ruling party. But the second reason for my admiration is that somehow he manages to be so deep in Nigeria politics, yes, he doesn't even look like a politician or sound like one. He always sounds like a fine, well-bred, well-spoken gentleman drag dragged into politics by some rascals. But indeed, he is a consummate politician and an astute strategist. And an astute strategist. It is this particular attribute of being in politics without being a politician that I would like to be when, as Professor Gambari said, when I grow up. And I think I have more, I think I have more reason to be able to say that I'd like to be like that when I grow up. As you know, aside from lawyers, I do not know a group of people who are more maligned than politicians. I think it was Rotimi Amichi, he was here a moment ago, who once told a story at the Federal Executive Council meeting of a distinguished senator who was accosted by some armed robbers. And when he was asked to identify himself, he said, I am Senator X. To which the robbers replied, our money or your life. Every time that you come across the Nigerian uh, politician, there's always, there's always some way or the other that uh, we are maligned. But it's become worse after the, the victory of uh, Zelensky, the comedian who is now the president of Ukraine. Things have become even worse for our reputation. Uh, it was uh, Will Rogers who said very irreverently that everything is changing now. People are taking their comedians seriously and they're taking politicians as a joke. But people like Chief Oyegu have shown that politicians can be loyal, faithful, distinguished men and women. And it makes us all proud to belong in this company of incredible human beings. Despite what people say, we are often, despite what people say, we are often more loyal than most other people or most other groups of people. Let me end with a story of a politician and a story of a politician. This politician was a lifelong Republican in the US, in US politics. He was lying down on his sick bed, he was about to die, as a matter of fact, you have been told that he had only a few minutes to go. Before he died, he said, I want to change my party. I want to become a Democrat. Why? His alarmed family members asked. And party members also were surprised. Why do you want to change your party? At this, just a few moments before you die, why would you change your party? Then he replied, it is better than what, that one of them dies than one of us. So tomorrow, when it is announced, they will say a Democrat died, not a Republican. So you can see that we politicians can be very faithful and very loyal indeed. I can only ask our friends in the PDP also to ensure that they cross over before they die. It is time for them to cross over.
So it's my very special pleasure and privilege again, sir, to wish you uh, and to wish this very fine gentleman, this loyal party man, excellent role model and leader, a very happy birthday. I pray that as your days, so shall your strength, so shall your wisdom, and so shall your favor with God. In Jesus' name, amen.